Now since we have our development environment ready, let's do some practical coding and write some code for the block structure which we'll be using for the simulation. Let's go back to our file python.py and let's start writing our code to simulate a block structure. So as per our discussion in the previous videos, the block structure will have fields like this. It will have a block number. It will have a block name or rather it will have a nuns value, not the block name. It will have a data part. It will have the hash value of the current block. It will also have the hash value of the previous block. Now let us pass all these values from the constructor. So I'll say number nuns data hash and previous which is being passed from the constructor. So we'll set the values accordingly. Let's also write a function. in form of a list so I'll say self dot number self dot nuns self dot data self dot hash self dot previous so now we have a block structure which we have made 